corruption has been cited several times as an hindrance to development and a major enabler of social inequalities. According to the Minister of Finance, Matia Kasaija, corruption within government agencies and departments is especially bad because it hinders the effective delivery of services. This question of corruption in Uganda uh -uh, is getting beyond tolerance. Kasaija has said the first rate at which the new buildings that are much rooming around Kampara might be linked to corrupt government officials trying to hide their ill gotten wealth. The minister says the large sums of money are used in some of the construction projects and the office of the IGG should interest itself in finding out the source of this money. I'm told many of the tall buildings in Kampara here. <laughs> IGG, I might ask you to make investigation who, which, which, who, 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 who private ones, who, and I'm told this belongs to some government officials. Where did the money come from? Kasaija made the remarks during the groundbreaking ceremony of the construction of the 15th floor inspector of government building in Kampara. As noted, the building will save 2.5 billion in rent which we pay annually. The rent has been eroding the funding for the IG and reducing operational funds. Uh, so the 2.5 billion that we have been using for rent will boost the expansion of the institution. According to the Inspector of Government, Irene Yagonja, one of the challenges they've been facing as the Inspector of Government are the areas where they can detain suspects of corruption in their investigations. Now on this new building, there are areas specifically made for detention centers. We've been taking them to police, but there's an inconvenience. You arrest them wherever it is, then you take them to police, then you get them from police, then you bring them to IG to make a final statement, then you take them to court. But in this case, we shall be arrested, putting in our own holding cells. You take statements from there, from the holding cell, direct to court. 70 billion shillings will be spent on the project, and the money will be availed by the government of Uganda. The project is projected to be completed in a period of three years. Ivan Chimuchigozi, NTV.